A protac is a heterobifunctional molecule with two binding regions. At one end is a region that binds a disease, causing protein targeted for degradation. At the other end is a region that binds to an E3 ubiquitin ligase, part of the natural ubiquitin ligase complex. The regions are joined by a linker. Getting a high affinity warhead is a crucial first step in building a protac. It sets the groundwork for everything that comes next, the development and optimization process. But what if a constructed protac with a confirmed high affinity warhead doesn't work as expected? Well, that means we need to take a closer, more careful look at how it's designed and how it works. Our expert from Wishy Biology shared strategies for such R&D scenario. High affinity binary binding doesn't equal effective binary binding and also could not guarantee effective degradation. I listed four different angles which we could take into consideration. So the first would be to profile a panel of cell lines, especially the cell lines with different expression level of your POI, and check the POI degradation to see if the degradation has certain pattern or cell line preference. The second would be check the protect engagement to the POI or E3 legacy and uh, bringing to what sometimes could change the engagement of these compounds, these bifunctional molecules, to the target. The third would be to evaluate the ternary complex formation and understand the kinetics as well. This sometimes helps to translate the binary binding to the ternary binding, how it works, is it sufficient, is it stable. The last would be to check the protect stability and permit it. This is always challenging for the large molecule, Western balls and hybrids or the, any other high super acids. Both acids could help you to assess the protein degradation, like the effect of potency, Dmax, DC50. The hybrid acid give you high data quality, reproducibility and detection sensitivity, and that's much better fitting for the late stage or the middle stage SAR screening. But if at very early stage you want to get quick answer if my protects are working or not, just run the Western ball, which is quicker to set up and also easier to give you answers. If you don't want to modify the protein of interest with the hybrid tag, spend time or the money on generating the cell lines, you could consider the inside Western ads, which is also very straightforward to establish and pretty high throughput to support the SAR screening. Taking the AR regulation here is an example, but you will see this blocking effect actually show a clear time difference. Keeping remind us, protect functional is a, more like a kinetic function. It is time dependent. If we don't choose the SEC time window properly, then we'll probably get the wrong answer. The engagement is always important. Quite surprisingly, we sometimes find these large molecules behave very strangely in the tr fret acid but not for the molecule groups. In the cellular assay, most compounds still work well. When we have this kind of situation, I would suggest you would test protect compound in both assays and to evaluate the assay performance and then make decision which target engagement assay you would like to use. Ternary complex formation assay is very important to help you understand why some molecules are not working. It's kind of a bridge between the binary IC and the ubiquitin nation. This different setup for evaluating the ternary complex, both dose dependence as well as the kinetics of the ternary complex formation. Mm -hmm.